Hey guys, Nick with Doctor here and just wanted to go over some very important information with the most recent app update. There is some particularities, but we've got to work for through you guys to be able to get your equipment up and running and make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. So first and foremost, we want to go to the App Store. We want to type in Doctor Pathfinder 2 in the search bar and make sure that our app is up to date. Once our app is up to date, go ahead and open the app. And then it will ask you to create your truck marker. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then it's gonna ask us and tell us that our GPS connector is not turned on. We're gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button until the connector starts the rapid blink. Once we see that, hit connect in the app. Now you don't need to do this every time, only if we're adding it to a new device. Okay, make sure our collar is connected as well, guys. Okay, now that you guys can see the equipment's connected, right now a firmware notification popped up on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and hit where it says go to settings. Okay, and then we're gonna see where it says firmware version check, tap there. It's gonna run a quick firmware version check of the system. Do not interrupt any process while the equipment is beeping. Okay. Now that the beeping is completed, it indicates that our phone and our caller needs an update. So we're going to go ahead and tap our caller first. Now we can always tell the caller is taking an update by the LEDs and the way they're flashing. And again, guys, do not interrupt the beeping on the system. Allow the update to complete. Go ahead and hit where it says confirm update. Now, at this point is where the issue happens, guys. So if we try to apply the update to the phone right now or the connector, it won't work right. So we're going to turn off all the equipment. And reboot the app. Okay, so turn on the app. Turn on the connector. Cancel your truck marker. Take us to the update, firmware update page, go to settings. And now we're gonna tap where it says iPhone. Now it will say find and update iPhone. Allow this to complete the process. Again, do not interrupt this process. How we can tell if the update's taking is the LED light on the connector will begin a flicker. Okay. The update has taken successfully. Now you can go ahead and use the equipment like you did originally. Guys, if you need any other further assistance, don't hesitate to give our customer service a call.